Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and Slay the Spire. So we did the first level and now we are going to the city. And since we are starting a new level we will actually get healed to full. I have some easier fights coming up because of our HP situations. Um, we could go for a bunch of question marks here. And then an elite. The problem is that we only have this money, we can't get any more because of the ectoplasm. But uh, getting up here could be interesting to see what we. I, I, can, I just like the question marks, I think they are quite interesting. This guy is usually a bit of a hassle because he has plated armor, so he will gain 14 armor each turn. However, for every hit we do against his HP, he will l get uh, one less. We want to remove his armor and then hit him as many times as possible. So let's start with upgrading all our uh, stuff. And then we have uh, a defend. And we can use body slam. So since the body slam will remove all of his armor, you can see it drops to 13. 12 and 11 and we won't take any damage from 12 hit points or 12 damage Here we got impervious which we want to have together with body slam if possible it's still doing his same old damage mm. We can weaken him, might as well, and that will remove one more of his armor. Now we would like to get 8 uh, block, I don't know if it's worth to use this, we could just grab this and we will... Uh, sure, let's grab ornaments again. And the reason why we are taking this damage is because we have burning blood, so this is not too bad. And we can save the energy for the next turn with ice cream. And we just upgrade everything. We will. Hmm. Oh, we might as well pull something here out of our hat. Actually, since we have ice, ice cream, I should remember that I can actually just uh, save my energy if I want to. Bloodion is a pretty efficient attack. Alright, we have three uh, upgraded cards to choose between. That's really good. Havoc will play the top card and exhaust it. So it's really useful if we have expensive cards like Bludgeon. Um, or if you want to exhaust stuff, anger, pretty good with strength. Overall, a decent card. True grit will gain, give, give us a lot of block and exhaust the card in your hand. Now, I have said that we want to use exhaust cards, but um, this one is really, really good because we can choose which card to exhaust, which means every time you use through grit we can remove our weakest card from our deck at that combat at least so every time we go through our deck we will get stronger and stronger or we will have things like this a curse if we try to receive a relic venturing through a series of tombs you are faced with a large sacrifagus studded with gems in the center of a circular room that's a lot of c and s sounds there you cannot make out the writing on the coffin, however, you do notice black fog seeping out from the side. I don't mind getting cursed with Wraith. So let's take the relic. If your HP is full, we will gain one extra energy. Okay, so we actually have a reason to go full hit points. Interesting. Um, now, this thing has innate, which means 
it will be in our starting hand. And it's a curse, which is kind of like a wound, but it will be in our deck forever. Can't just remove it, or just not one combat. So, come to the library. You come across an ordinate building, ornate building, with appear which appears abandoned. A plaque, plaque you, plaque, plaque you. I don't know. Let's talk in Swedish. Et plakat that was <laughs> that has been torn free from a wall is on the floor. What? From a wall, it's on the floor. Okay, it reads the library. Reading is hard enough. Inside, you find countless rows of scrolls, manuscripts, and books. You pick one and cozy yourself into share for some quiet time. Leap or heal? Well, choose one out of twenty. That's quite a selection. I don't know if we want to talk about all of these cards, but we can talk about what we want to do with the different ones. So we have uh, Corruption, which is a really good exhaust deck card. Like whenever you play a skill, exhaust it and it will always cost zero. So it's an expensive card, but it will be really good with this one. Where you get blocked from exhausted cards. That's one archetype kind of deal. We have the Rampage archetype that we are kind of going for a little bit. We also have Clash. It's a free attack, but it can only be replaced if you have a lot of attacks in your hand. Let's see if they have the other one that enables that. No, they do not. Even if this is 20 cards, it's not even half of the ones you can get. In flame, power that gives us true strength. Now that one is really useful. Too bad we can't choose show our deck, but uh, let's just grab that. Get it two strength with um, our uh, um, what's it called? Uh, limit break can be nice. The story is about a band who journeyed beyond the stars and found themselves stuck on a desolate foreign planet. In June, it in. Ingenuity, ingenuity, I don't know. Luck, perseverance, and humor to retain his sanity or his tools to return home. Fascinating. I bet this is some kind of reference to something. I don't catch it. Okay, we can buy Jax for 100 gold. Lose 3 hit points, gain 2 strength. Next one. We're not going to do this since we have. We actually want to get that full hit points, so let's leave him and see what they have in the store. Right, so this is the last gold we have, forever and ever. We can heal 15 hit points when you rest. We can start every combat with two extra hit points. Or we have cards. These grey cards you can have on both the silent and the ironclad on the both both the classes. And I would say the ones we want to have is either to remove uh, right or remove some kind of basic strike. You could also get Homo strike in order to enable our rampage more. We can get flex since it works pretty well with uh, limit break. But if you buy any cards, we can't afford these guys. Um, I think we go for card. Is that a good idea? It's just a freaking pummel strike. Let's go with the healing. It's only two healing, but hey. I think we did a bad choice there. Mostly because I wanted to get to 80 here. Please. And we get one extra ND from this thing. Book of Stabbing. Pretty sure this was an elite. Yeah. So. 
Whenever you take damage from this enemy, add a wound into your discard pile. Okay, well... We are most likely going to play everything here. We'll definitely go with Inflame. To Strength. We will play Rampage. Now, since we have... Ice Cream, we could actually keep this... energy and say that well we will be able to use it better than strikes which I think is pretty likely I don't think we need that upfront damage now we will not get uh, additional energy from this thing that's too bad 21 damage let's upgrade our cards Let's bash him, let's defend, let's bludgeon, 77 damage, it's legit. If we really wanted to we could drink a potion to do more damage, I think it's unnecessary. Limit break, it's kind of enabled. Let's just do it. Pretty quick uh, elite. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. We want to get that at the same time as bludgeoning. So Berserk, if your HP is below 50%, gain one extra energy at the start of each turn. Pretty good. A strong block, pretty good. Or headbutt, really good with... Uh, Rampage, and we are starting to get more and more into the Rampage territory. Might not be the most interesting build. Let's bring back Dodgeon. This guy has Barricade, so he doesn't lose block between the turns. So we actually need to fight through that block, we can't just wait. And we can't give him vulnerable because he has three layers of that barricade um, artifact negates three debuffs. It's too bad. Can't really kill him. But we should be able to get up to max hit points, and that will be really nice with uh, the runic dodecadron. I think something. Sentinel, body slam, and bloodletting. So, gain 5 block if we play this, but if we exhaust it, we gain 2 energy. So, it's a versatile card, but we don't have the ver um, exhaust synergy. Bloodletting will give us. Extra energy for uh, hit points. So this is something you want to have with those uh, powers that give you uh, bonuses from taking damage. But we will grab it anyways. So we will go elite, elite if we can. So gremlin leader and then we have sneaky gremlin, mad gremlin. These are minions, so if we kill the boss, they will flee from the combat. So, we're going to take some heat here. This guy will get one strength if he takes damage. I think they have nerfed him. I think it used to be plus two damage. Can we straight up kill this guy? Yeah, we can. And then we will save our energy. No reason not to. It's going to buff and do something defensive. I want to keep uh, the Dodecon active as long as we can. 
Headbutt, headbutt. Interesting. I wouldn't mind to have some block here, you know. We don't want to deal damage to him if we can't kill him. That's that's the deal, and we can apply weekend to this one. I guess we bring back armaments. Anything else? We can bring back. Oh, oh, oh. Next attack will deal double damage. Then we won't use it on strike, that's for sure. Still not the most impressive uh, pen nib. But we will gain some more strength and then we will just Match this guy. Waste of the vulnerability though. Yeah, maybe we go for this guy. Yeah, I want to keep the vulnerable here. There's a bludgeon coming up soon as well, so maybe we can just straight up kill him. Most likely going to start buffing these guys. Limit break, impervious, yeah, this is decent. Let's slam him. Almost dead. Usually this game is about controlling these guys, but uh, he's just spawning these weak-ass dudes. As long as we don't do damage to these ones, they don't actually do that much damage. Run. I don't think you can spawn more than three guys either, so... Might be flower. Every three turns gain one energy. Right. So we actually have plenty of energy if we can get our hit points up. And here's more strength. For our <laughs> really slow synergy. Let me play power. Random card in your hand costs one return. Right. Do we have any powers? We have inflame, that's our only power, I think. We might want to grab more powers if possible. Hey, isn't this the same guy we just fought? I have a problem here, <laughs> but uh, all right. The power is actually disappears when you use them, so you can't headbutt that one back into. I don't think you want to have defend being pulled by a headbutt, so let's play headbutt first. Actually, uh, maybe limit break even with only two health, two strength. Yeah, my bad. It's fine. The wound, I guess. Yeah. Interesting cards. Well, that's eighteen damage. We could drink a potion if we want to. I, I have a hard time using strikes when we have ice cream, like. They are fillet cards. I don't want to use fillet cards. I can play one, I guess, just to not go overboard with how much energy we have. Especially with the sunflower. Happy. Happy, happy. 
Not great. We compare this when we with the other time and we just killed him straight up. No questions asked. We have Pennib coming up, so we should just uh, weaken him and then Bloodion for 92 damage. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable. Super good. Strength, super good. Let's remove an elixir. We have the mummified hand, so having uh, powers might be interesting. And we have this one. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one swing. And we actually have one card that loses hit points. We might not use it that often. But we do have it. We have no way around markets. Well, we can go left here. I think we just go for a rest. Maybe not, maybe we can upgrade something. Let's upgrade Limit Break now that we actually have some strength. And see if we can make this happen. So, Bloodletting would be nice if we actually had that card activate or the power activated. If you do not, this guy is defending, this guy is buffing. We want to use as much as possible though. Because they are burnable. And we have paper frog stuff. We need um, card draw. That's the card we need the most, I think. He's protecting the Mystic, which is kind of a healer. And Turin is mostly just going to attack. Well, it's actually going to block. So she buffed the strength. She can buff our strength. And also. Here's a problem though, because they're not attacking, so I don't know if you want to use True Grit. We should kind of count if we can actually kill these guys. I'm just going to. Make sure, or yeah, yeah. Never mind. I was like, oh, it's exact what we need, but it was actually because we have um, paper frog. We actually have plenty of leeway. Let's just remove that that defense card. We don't need that. Clean up our deck. So well, if we could. We would like to... I'm trying to get uh, Bloodion to be free with these. Actually, that was my mistake. I should have used Strike. Because then Bloodion would be the only card... I, I, I think you know what I mean. I should have used as many cards as possible, so increase the chance of Bloodion getting free. I think that would have been the play. I think we save. Ah, fine, let's play 10 damage. So we get block potion. This is a bit of a waste of uh, Impervious. Actually, didn't even need it because of Pennib. It's really difficult to keep track on all these things. Add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this time. Exhaust. Okay. So, the thing with the Infernal Blade is that it's upgraded, so it's free. You may get attacks that usually cost zero. Or we can get really lucky and get one of these um, bludgeon that usually costs free. 
definitely doing damage all enemies. We might lack AoE, so that's something we could go for. We could just skip. If we don't want to keep on expanding on our deck. Our deck is getting way too large. Let's grab seeing red, get one extra energy. This guy is usually pretty bad. Eggplant. He, is, he has Malibu. I'm taking attack damage, gain free block. And then that block will increase every time he takes damage. So... That's pretty bad. All of our cards cost one, so we can use Rupture right off the bat. So we can use True Grit and remove Wright. Not the most impressive uh, turn we have had, and we are still taking damage. We need card draws. We need pummel strikes. We need uh, battle trance. Battle trance is a really good card draw ability. Using negative effect. We will upgrade stuff. Actually, you could argue that you should attack with your weakest first, maybe? I don't know if it really matters that much. Uh, I don't think it mattered that much. The obvious start of this. Um, can't kill him. Pretty bad. So we are lacking in defense quite badly. We need card draw or we need to grab uh, some defensive cards here. None of these are defensive, but we do have Heavy Blade that will use strength three times. That's what you want to use for this deck, but like I said, it's starting to get too bloated. Let's go for Bloodletting. <laughs> Even if we already have too much. Um, too many zero cost cards. I think I want to rest here. The champ! Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Well, that's what we're going to use. So we'll use this one. We will use Bloodletting to get extra strength, hopefully. And plenty of energy, by the way. We will use... We'll drink some strength potions. We will throw a poison... Potion on this guy. So he will lose 6 HP on this round. And then we lose 5, 4, 3, so forth. Poison is usually used by... Other one, Silent. She really likes poison. A Penib. So where's our Bludgeon? Nowhere to be found. Uh, let's play Blood for Blood then. What do we want to use next? We have a lot of energy, so... We can keep on upgrading our cards, I think. I think that's fine. But we need to do something about our, our energy. It's through the freaking roof. There we go, Bloodion. We're going to upgrade. 22 damage, that's... Quite a lot. We can't get to Pennib territory. Uh, 
I, mean, I think we would have almost been killed if we didn't go for the rest. The thing is, we are vulnerable, that's why we take so much damage. We're also frail, which means we will block less from cards. He's going to buff himself, so we don't really need to go crazy with the block right now. Well, with Body Slam we might want to. Do you want to toss away a um, strike? We will lose 2 damage by playing uh, True Grit instead of Strike. I guess we can remove a block, but we are a bit lacking in block. <laughs> it's just a crap card, let's let's just remove it. We remove poisoned. Also gained a bunch of strength. He's buffing himself even more. Yeah, we will get a lot of strength here. Too bad we only have <laughs> strikes to use it on. Pendium coming up. Pensive stance. 20 armor because he has metallicize and 5 block per turn. Let's double our strength. Weaken him, 12 damage. We just need to play all the cards we have because of this energy situation. He's my wrath. Yeah, he's really, really angry. We do have a lot of strength. Even Body Slam without any armor is doing a bunch of damage. Yeah, we were one turn away from getting killed, so we really need to start thinking about our defensive. Abilities. Feed, deal 10 damage. If this kills a non minion enemy, gain 3 permanent max HP and exhaust. Use an exhausted card and put it in your hand. Exhaust. Berserk, gain extra energy if you're low on energy. Now, this card is. I mean, we were below 50%. The thing here is, since if you use this one with Mummified Hand, it will make another card. Three. So we could definitely use this one, but we need to get need to get uh, defensive abilities. Snacko Eye. Draw two additional cards each turn. Start each combat confused. Confused. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. This is really good if you have an expensive deck. Resting card. On card reward screens, choose from 4 cards instead of 3. Curse key. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Whenever you open a chest, obtain a curse. So, you might know, not know this, but there is an item that will give you plus 1 strength for every curse you have. So if you have that item, curse key is a really strong alternative. I think we go for the extra card. Not an excellent relic, but we are already having trouble using all our energy, so having the ability to get some really good cards might be the key. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again in the next episode where we take the third and last level of this game. Thank you and goodbye.